when the tablets were deciphered in the 1820s, they revealed a record of Sumerian daily life names of important figures and rulers and accounts of sky gods called the Anunnaki. These clay tablets are 5,000 years old and more, and they tell of the arrival of the Anunnaki, the pantheon of gods. The chief was Anu. This is the sky god who came along and created everything, so the origin of the civilization on the planet came from the sky, the high god of the Anunnaki. Anu presided over the divine council. There were a multitude of beings that came to this council. They deliberated with Anu. They made decisions for humanity. They intervened in human affairs. At Gobekli Tepe, there's a carving of these three handbags that appear above this bird-like creature. And what's fascinating about this is that you can find carvings of similar handbags about 400 miles to the south where the ancient Sumerians lived. And there the handbags are held by these winged figures with bird-like heads called Anunnaki, and the bags are said to hold all the knowledge of the universe. Similarly, the Bible also tells of early humans having help from beings who came down from the sky, called the Watchers. The Watchers are the fallen angels who came to earth and intermingled with humans. Both the Watchers and the Anunnaki, who almost certainly were the same, have been associated with this culture at Gobekli Tepe and Karahan Tepe, and is it possible, therefore, that they are behind the creation of these sites?